Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cindy if you're new. Today's video is going to be a bunch of healthy habits to support a summer glow up. We want to be hotties this summer and that goes hand in hand with some healthy habits. We want to be right in every possible facet. We want to have everything right and to have everything right we need healthy habits. Now when a lot of people think hot girl summer, we think drinking, we think shaking our ass on a yacht, which balance is key. I'm not, I'm not going to hate anyone for shaking their ass on a yacht, but we have to remember to do the healthy habits so we can recover faster to keep shaking our ass on a yacht. We have goals to reach, or at least I do, and so we need healthy habits. My first habit I want to implement is a better sleep schedule. If you're a partier and you go out, that's okay. I'm not telling you to have some crazy early morning sleep schedule. I'm just asking you to get even like an 80% of the time, 90% of the time to sleep 8 to 10 hours. I've been doing research on sleep and women need more sleep than men. Everything is rigged against women like in society. <laughs> We're not getting in that conversation right now. I've been doing more research and women a lot of the time you need like 9 to 10 hours of sleep, so just listen to your body and if you need extra sleep, go to bed earlier or just like adjust your time depending on when you work. If you want to stay out late, go ahead. It's summer, I understand, but just make sure you're allowing yourself to get enough time to have that 8 to 10 window of sleep. I wake up earlier. Summer's a really good time to do that because it is sunny out earlier and I find the sun helps me wake up early. I am an early riser by choice. I started building the habit of waking up early when I was like 17. So it's kind of natural to me. I used to sleep until like 11. And during COVID, like I used to sleep until two in the afternoon because time wasn't really real then. But my biggest suggestion or tip if you are trying to wake up earlier is to get a sunshine alarm. I don't know what a sunshine alarm is. It's basically an alarm that will gradually put out light, like a sunrise. And mine's just like a Philips one, it's not a hatch, it's nothing crazy. I got it off of Amazon. I'll link a few down below. I know that everybody loves the hatch alarm, I just can't spend the money on that right now. Oh, I also recently learned about sleep, that if you don't get the proper amount of sleep, so within that 8 to 10 hour window, if you don't get the proper amount of sleep, it takes three days to recover. So that's honestly horrible and upsetting to me, quite honestly, because if you're out partying and you don't get the right amount of sleep afterwards, you're screwed. So I just want you to keep that in mind. Next habit. Obviously this one is a habit that a lot of people want to implement. Any time of the year, it's drink more water, but... The heat, you're sweating, the dancing, the drinking, the partying, the every thing you could be doing. Anything physical, activity-wise, anything substance-wise, like drink your water, please. The recommended amount of water is usually half of your body weight in ounces. I know a lot of people are trying to drink a gallon. Is that... A gallon. Yeah, a lot of people try to drink like a gallon a day. Lovely goal, but just keep in mind, if half your body weight in ounces is like two liters, three liters, two and a half liters, like anywhere that's not necessarily super close to a gallon, you don't need a gallon. A gallon of water is not necessary unless you're doing like crazy amounts of physical activity. You're in the sun all day. Just keep in mind, because if you drink too much water, you can get sick. Next habit is one of my favorite habits, and it's not like, this one's definitely like a wellness habit. I don't really know where it's going to sit with the, like, summer, hot girl summer party thing. This is definitely a wellness tip, and it is hot, or heat and cold exposure. I love heat and cold exposure therapy. There's a lot of spas that do this, which is just like so relaxing, but the way I'm telling you after like 
if you go to one of these spas that has like the cold plunges and the saunas and like it's like a whole circuit, the way you will feel so invigorated afterward. Invigorate? I can't say that word. So clean and so good afterwards. I 10 million percent. Like this is one of my favorite things to do. And I'm not saying I'm the healthiest girl in the world. I highly recommend. If you don't want to spend money and go to one of those spas where there's not one near you, check if there's like saunas near you. A lot of gyms have saunas in them and like just go in the sauna every now and again. Have a cold shower. Cold showers in the summer hit different. And you, you should know this. Like if you're sweating and hot and you don't have AC, a cold shower, whew, there's a lot of health benefits to doing that but I'm not gonna get into it because I don't have the time. I could make a whole video on heat and cold exposure if you wanted me to because I'm very passionate about that and it's such a random thing to be passionate about but I love it. Next thing I have is journaling. Now I'm not even talking like there's two sides of this. You could do like you know journaling a gratitude list and a brain dump those are my two like if you're an anxious girl those are my two biggest suggestions is that you wake up in the morning it's the artist way um morning pages is to just literally as soon as you wake up you don't check your phone you don't meditate first like you don't do anything you literally grab your journal and your pen and you write for three pages straight of just like any stress or any worry or anything you're happy about or anything you're excited about your plans for the day anything you think about for three pages and like it just kind of gets it all out there and it's so nice and then on top of that writing down like 10 things you're grateful for it will really kick start your good mood in the morning other side of things if you want to keep a journal of just everything you do this summer and like all the juicy little details it would be super fun for you to go back and read that later on in life you can keep it your friends you can share a journal and like you know each take days or weeks writing your point of view and it'd be like a super cute memory next one is for the anxious girlies like me is to step out of your comfort zone and just say yes more say yes to things do things that scare you adventure make memories so the summer can be one to remember and also stepping out of your comfort zone is a great way to build confidence and a great way to get rid of anxiety or combat anxiety. Get outside. Please stop staying inside on your phone. That's not doing anything. Get outside even if you just go outside for a walk in the morning or if you work. I understand people have jobs. Go for a walk before, after work, whatever your schedule allows. Go for dinners on patios eat outside, go to the beach, I don't know where you live. Find at least 15 minutes to get out in the sun and the nice weather, especially if you live somewhere with four seasons and this is your summer and this is your time to enjoy the weather. Movement, even if, like I don't want you to like go work out to feel like you need a bikini body or feel like you need to fit into your little tight dress to the club, I don't want you to work out to look a certain way. I want you to go work out to feel better about yourself and to feel productive and to like have that little mental health time and work on yourself. Especially if you're going to spend a lot of time with your friends. You're going to, you know, be talking to guys. If you're even a little bit spiritual in the sense that you're giving your energy to your friends or to boys or to girls or to whoever you're giving your energy, please just have a little bit of time where you're doing movement, movement, where you're doing movement for your own body and your own self, just to like, it's like when you water a plant, do a little movement to just like, give you a little, like I did that today, especially if you're not working or you're not in school and you have like the summer off, if that, like that is so important to like feel like you did something productive for yourself. 